the meaning of praise is the offering of thanks through our lips so when we talk about his greatness we're making confession to his name we talk about what he's done for us true praise and worship will bring you into a life of power and a lot of things that you pray for and ask God for you would find you don't need to pray and ask for Psalm 116 and verse number 17. I will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving and will call upon the name of the Lord. Now, this is a man looking into what's coming. All right? Looking into what's coming in the future. Now, a lot of the things that you have in the Old Testament for worshiping God and, and celebrating him, are not necessarily acceptable in the New Testament. I want you to know that. Like praise him in the dance. Okay? To praise God in the dance. Now what they did was this. They had different kinds of dancing. Like we have in, in, in Nigeria, for example, the, uh, the Tiv people have their kind of dance. The houses have their kind of dance. Are you following this? And then the, the Igbos have their kind of dance. The Edo's have their kind of dance. The Yorubas have their kind of dance. And so when you say praise God in the dance, then the Yorubas have a way of doing their dance for God and the Igbos have a way of doing their dance. Now back in the Old Testament, you had the same thing. And those from the tribe of Simeon came and they danced the Simeonite dance. And those from the tribe of Judah had their own kind of dance. And those from Benjamin had their own kind of dance. So they praised God in the dance. They had their dances. Remember when the, the men of Benjamin didn't have any more women because, you know, they were killed. There was trouble among them and the other tribes almost completely wiped out Benjamin. And so finally they thought, okay, here's what we're going to do. The, there were those who, uh, who escaped. And uh, they said, how, how, how do we get them to, have, to get wives so that they can, they can reproduce and, and Benjamin will not be completely wiped out from among our tribes? So they said to these men, when the women come out to dance, then you rush in and catch anyone that you want. When their fathers are angry, we will defend you. Don't worry about it. So they pretended not to know about it. And when it was time for the dance, and the ladies came out to dance, and then the men went and took whoever they wanted. And the fathers of the girls got angry and came to the elders and said, look what this man did. And they said, please don't worry. Um, uh, they needed to have wives. Did you read that in your Bible? <laughs> Some of you did. Yeah, you can read it. Praise God. So they have different kinds of dances. And so when they say praise God in the dance, yeah, that's, that's the kind that is referring to. And we want to do that in the New Testament? No, no, sir. A thousand times no. In the New Testament, we don't do that. For example, when we pray, we have two kinds of prayers. One is the prayer of our understanding. Okay? We pray through our understanding. And then we pray with the Spirit. That's the second kind of prayer. Praying with the Spirit or praying in the Spirit. All right? Okay. So he says, when I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prayeth, but my understanding is unfruitful. So he says, what is it then? I'll pray with the Spirit, and I'll pray with the understanding also. Right? Then it says, I'll sing with the Spirit, and I'll sing with the understanding also. 
And we, we, we just read scriptures where he told all of us we could sing in worshiping God. Remember, he wrote to the church in Colossae, what I read to you. He wrote to the church in Ephesus, what I read to you. So the whole congregation received that message. In the 40, 47th Psalm, the first verse of the 47th Psalm, all oh, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Right? Good. What is that? When you clap, what is that? Is applause. Applause is what? A sign of approval. It's a sign of approval. It's neither praise nor worship. It's another way of saying, yeah, we like it. We like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. You know, thumbs up, thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. That's nice. Good, good, good. Right? That's when you clap. That's, that's what it is, when you clap. We don't clap for Jesus. We don't clap for God. Did they know all of that in the Old Testament? Remember, they moved in the flesh. So when you read those things, the Old Testament, they're not written for you. You have to find what's written for you. What's written for you. In fact, put it this way. Put it this way. The epistles were written to you. So you have to, you have to read those that are written to you. The others are written for you, for your information. Because it says the things that were written for time were written for our learning, for our admonition. Okay? But these ones are written to you. The epistles are written to you. Directed to you. So you want to know what you're supposed to do in the New Testament. Do you read it from the New Testament? And I told you... Um, uh, Maybe I should give a, an example. In the scripture, in St. Luke's gospel, chapter 10, go to verse 21. St. Luke's gospel, chapter 10, verse 21. Now the Bible says, in that hour, Jesus rejoiced in spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and hast revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for it seemed good in thy sight. This is amazing. You know what the Bible says Jesus did here? It says, Jesus rejoiced in spirit. Now, the word translated rejoice here is the Greek agaleo. And agaleo means to skip like a child. To skip like a child and jump like a child and kick like a child. That's, that's what Jesus did. Can you imagine that? Can, can, can you think about Jesus doing that, doing that? That's what Jesus did. Skipping and kicking and, and doing that. That's what Jesus did. It's a kind of dance. Dancing upward like that. Like a child. That's what the Bible says. There are other words translated rejoice in the New Testament. But this one is different. This is from Agaleo. Means to skip like a child, jump like a child. And 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 guess what? In some in some places it causes to greatly rejoice. It, it means that it's you're so full of joy that it comes out this way. Where do you find this again? I want you to go. To St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 1 and verse number 41. We're going to read from verse 41. 
Malakika Aragadius. And it came to pass when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, now notice what it says. The, the babe in her womb leaped, leaped. Right? All right, let's see how it was described. Go for the next verse. And she spake out, Elizabeth spake out with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And whence is this to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in my ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. The babe leaped in my womb for joy. Hallelujah. The babe leaped in my womb for joy. The babe leaped. And uh, it goes on. It goes on. Next verse. And blessed is she that believes. For there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. And Mary said. Now here. Most um, Bible, uh, Bible scholars say that it's Mary, or it's called the Magnificat of Mary. But older Latin versions say it was the continued. Uh, prophetic words of Elizabeth. Now, I understand why they think it's Mary. I, there are just one or two things there that make them say it's Mary. That's why you have verse 46, and Mary said. So they believe that this was Mary's reply to what Elizabeth said in the last few verses. But it is unlikely, for it doesn't matter, all right? So, but I, I need to point, you're pastors, I need to point out to you, okay? So, whether it's Mary or it's Elizabeth, doesn't matter. But here's what I want you to notice. And Mary said, my soul hath magnify the Lord. And my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. Now, that's the same word. My spirit had rejoiced. Wonderful. So, what I want to show you is what Jesus did and uh, what David did. You know, years ago, I learned from others that uh, David danced in the flesh, all right? I thought so. Because when, when, when he was dancing, I thought, well, yeah, well, that's what... That's what most teachers of faith said that David danced in the flesh. So I agreed. He must have danced in the flesh. All right? We are, we are to dance in the spirit. But when David danced, they said he danced with all his might, right? So he danced in the flesh. But um, that's not really true. So I'm going to read it to you and show you what actually happened. You want to see it? Let's begin with St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 21, and from verse number 41. Just so you understand. Just move to verse 42. Jesus said unto them, Did ye never read in the Scriptures the stone which the builder has rejected? The same has become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing that is marvelous in our eyes. Jesus had a way of, of uh, expressing spiritual truths. And often he, was, he would guide them to the scriptures. All right? The scriptures. Didn't you read in the scriptures? So if you go to chapter 22 from verse 43. He had a, a discussion with these uh, leaders. Uh, look at it. He said unto them, how then doth David in spirit... This time, he didn't quite say scriptures, all right, like we read in the previous verse, okay? But um, maybe you want to know 
the context. Move upward to verse 40. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Next. While the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them, saying, What think ye of Christ? Whose son is he? They say unto him, The son of David. He said unto them, How then doth David in spirit call him Lord, saying, Now, he quoted scripture just like we read in the previous portion. The Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou on my right hand till I make thine enemies thy footstool. The Lord said unto my Lord. So he says, how did David in spirit? So he's saying that when David prophesied, David spoke in the spirit. How many of you understand that simple thing? Is that clear? All right. So just to help you understand what's going on. Jesus says, David in spirit called him Lord. So when he prophesied, when he wrote those words, David was in spirit. He was doing it in the spirit. So Jesus is saying this is an important thing because David spoke in the spirit. So the Bible says, when Jesus questioned them that way, they had no answer for him. They were all quiet because they knew Jesus was right. Okay. Let's now go to what happened. We go first to 2 Samuel chapter 6. Let's read from verse number 13. And it was so that when they that bear the ark of the Lord, you know, they were bringing the ark of God into the city of David. We talked about this part of it yesterday. So they're bringing the ark to the city of David. And as they're bringing the ark, David's offering sacrifices. Of course, not directly by himself. I want you to remember that. Because the Bible does tell us it was actually the priests and Levites who carried out the actual sacrifices. They were there. Are you following this? They were there. Oh, I like this. I like what's going on in here. And it was so that when they that bear the ark of the Lord had gone six paces, he sacrificed oxen and fatlings. Okay? David Sacrifice oxen and fatlings. Six paces. All right, next. And David danced before the Lord with all his might. This is the place. So they think that David was dancing in the flesh. No, no, no. Why? I want to show you what happened. Let's read first. And David danced before the Lord with all his might. And David was guarded with a linen effort. When you, when you dress in the linen effort, in the office of the priest, whatever you say at that time, whatever you do at that time, you must do by the Spirit. And it is written for you as of the Spirit. You remember? The high priest, when he spoke that Jesus should die for the nation, what did the Bible say? That Caiaphas was high priest that year. And when he made that statement, he didn't care. But God took it. Because he spoke. The Bible says he didn't know what he was saying. But as high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus should die for the nation. As high priest. David was guarded with a linen effort. It's unusual. For a man from the tribe of Judah to put on a linen ephod. 
If he did it by himself, he'll be smitten to death. What was David doing? Evidently, David was instructed by the spirits. Remember, when Saul came in among the prophets, what happened? The spirit of the prophet came upon Saul. And the Bible says he prophesied with the prophets. Now, David is dressed with a linen ephod. Watch. And David was clothed with a robe of fine linen. And all the Levites that bore the ark and the singers and the Kenania, the master of the song with the singers, David also had upon him an ephod of linen. Read further. Thus all Israel brought up the ark of the covenant of the Lord with shouting and with sound of the cornet and with trumpets and with cymbals, making a noise with psalteries and harps. Watch. The Levites were there. The priests were there. David is dressed like one of them. He's dressed like a priest. He's wearing a linen ephod. What in the world is David doing? This could lead to certain death for anybody. If you were not a priest. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. All right, go back to that verse 14. It's so in uh, in Second Samuel, verse fourteen in Second Samuel. Yeah, and David danced before the Lord. The Hebrew word kara, kara, is used here for dance. I tell you, he wasn't dancing like this. All right, that's not what he was doing. No. Oh, say kora maha. Kara means to skip and jump and spin. Turning around about your own axis. He was skipping and spinning around. Like a child. Did you ever give something to a child? What do they do? They go like this. They go like this. That's what David was doing. Sabakaya did he. As the ark of God was coming to his place, David was rejoicing in he was jumping, he was screaming. That's what David was doing. Praise God. To get other related messages, kindly visit the Pastor Chris Digital Library, available on the Love Old App Store. God bless you.